Okay, you camera. <laughs> Constantly switching cameras because of but now I think this is this is a pretty decent camera. Okay, now we're just gonna. Oh, I'm live. <laughs> this is 28 seconds of just absolutely nothing. Um, so cool. Um, here we are. We're live, and uh, welcome to part three of the Phantom Toll Booth to do a little bit of um, uh, recap. Uh, Milo was a boy who was not very enthused about much of anything. And then one day when he was hurrying home from school, he um, found a game, a package that he had never seen before in his room. And it was for a game called the Phantom Toll Booth. And it was a bright purple toll booth. So he got an electric car that he had as a present and drove through the toll booth. And when he passed the toll booth, he suddenly found himself in a new land, a strange new land full of weird characters. And he drove along the road for a little bit until he came to a place called Dictionopolis. Dictionopolis is where all the words in all of this world are made and curated and sold and so on and so forth. And he met a few characters. Uh, he met Tuck, a, a watchdog, it's a dog with a stopwatch as part of the body instead of a dog body. And uh, he goes, his name is Talk, but he goes tick, 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 tick. And it was a very tragic tale. And then we met the humbug who is very eager to please anybody, no matter what they might say. You met the spelling bee who is a giant bee who loves to spell things. You also met um, the witch, not a witch, but a witch. She chose which words were to be chosen, were to be used, <laughs> chose which words were to be chosen. Um, she chose which words were to be used during the day, but she got very greedy and very miserly, so she got thrown into the dungeon. Uh, Milo also got thrown into the dungeon by Officer Shrift for causing a hubbub in the word marketplace. Uh, but he escaped quite easily, but not before the witch told him the story of Rhyme and Reason, two princesses who were the brothers of King Azaz, the unabridged, the king of Dictionopolis, and um, the math magician, the king of um, the numbers kingdom that we haven't gotten to yet. Uh, and these princesses were locked away because they gave their two elder brothers solid advice about why they shouldn't be fighting. And the brothers didn't like that been terrible ever since about to do that about to leave digit uh not digitopolis about to leave um uh dictionary well dictionopolis yes he's about to leave dictionopolis and head off toward uh and the entrance to the numbers mine and all of those things because uh, he's going to rescue the princess's rhyme and reason mostly because i think he he fell in love with the witch a little bit and who my connection is unstable and it's reconnecting is is it working oh okay it went away so hopefully that's uh, uh that'll work well um but but we are going to head over to chat working and jerking. Um, so, um, so says the husband. So we shall see. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we'll just wait, wait for like drink my tea. That's hot tea on my pants. <laughs> I just, I poured honey in it and I need a spoon to stir it because then it's, why is my stable? Uh, excellent, excellent. I am drinking citrus sunrise tea with a little bit of whiskey in it. Ah, uh, well, it's good to have some fun. Okay, now where can I put this tea? So 
anything. And let me make sure that you guys can hear me. Can okay. Here, I'll just put that mug right there. So, uh, yeah, the bug is uh, joining Milo and Talk on their adventure because he mistakenly agreed to volunteer in his rush of agreeing to everything. Um, so, after nine, it's all in how you look at 